Welcome to the CAD Cage, brought to you by Zentech Consultants. In the CAD Cage, we try to put two CAD systems side by side and to, you know, to test some important design functionality. And we let you know if one is better or worse or if they're both a wash. Um, so let's get started with today's competitors, AutoCAD versus BricsCAD. Uh, and, and I want to test the process of schematic symbol creation and counting of symbols. Um, now, I will say I want you guys to use your imagination a little bit here today simply because I don't have any schematics or one lines or riser diagrams available. So I'm going to use a floor plan. Uh, but the basic idea is exactly the same, right? So going into today's setup, we need to be able to go in, find some symbols, count the blocks, tell how many symbols we have. Kind of stuff you do on a riser diagram or, or an electrical one line or a schematic for a PNID, right? Or even on a floor plan, right? It's a very common process. So I'm going to go here. On the left, I've got AutoCAD. On the right, I've got BricsCAD, both very, very similar uh, packages. They're working in actually the same uh, DWG format and, and copies of the same file. So, you know, if, we, if we're looking to go in and be able to count symbols and we have blocks, so I'm just, I'm just going to kind of zoom in to these sinks over here on, on both of these uh, drawings, right? So here in AutoCAD, if I want to count how many sinks do I have in this plan, it's a block. So I can just click on it, right click, right? and I can just go to my select similar. Right? Then I can right click again and go to my properties. And you see it shows me right up here. I've got 13 of those in my drawing. Well, that's pretty easy, right? Very simple to do. I can do the exact same thing in BricsCAD. I'm just going to go here and I use their quad tool here, which I like. It's a little pop out. Uh, it lets me do a select similar. And then I can just go to the properties. And there you go. I've got 13. Exact same count, exact same setup from the exact same file. Simple, easy to do when you have a block, right? Between searching for blocks, it's a watch, right? BricsCAD and AutoCAD work almost exactly the same way. Now, where I am going to show you something that's really cool here is what happens. Right? I'm just going to kind of zoom back out in both of these drawings. What happens when you don't have blocks? That's a, that, that's a little bit more of a problem. So I'm going to go, to, go up here right, and zoom into kind of this top corner here in both of these files. And I want to show you that the chairs that we have in both of these drawings, uh, they're not blocks. They've been exploded. You see that every single one of these chairs, it's made up of arcs and circles and lines, right? The desks are rectangles in both AutoCAD and in BricsCAD. So what happens and how do we work when we want to go in and I need to be able to count how many chairs do I have? How many desks do I have? Oh, well, in AutoCAD, that's going to be a bit of a problem. That's not the end of the world, right? I can go in and I can define right, a new desk and we'll just show, we'll call it, you know, uh, chair example, right? We'll just put EX, uh, for example, and I can define it and I can pick a point and I can choose it and I can create the block, right? So if I want to go in and I'll, I'll pick an insertion point of, you know, the center there and I'll select some objects, right? And there it is, right? So no problem, right? I can go ahead and I'm, I'm going to delete that block from the drawing and leave, right? Now I can go in and I can reinsert that block, right? So there's my, where is it? Somewhere in here, should I? There's my chair EX, right? So I can go ahead and I can put that, you know, just move this off. Put that back in the drawing where it belongs close enough right now right but the problem that i have all of these others are still lines now i can go in and i can do that select similar again right and delete all those and now i can go in and i can start copying these right copying from desk to desk to desk right and then i can mirror it across right from one side to the other right no problem the issue is, is that I had dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of desks on two floors on my floor plan here. That's not terrible, but it is definitely going to take me, you know, a half hour to an hour to copy all those and then be able to do the count. That's definitely going to take some time. What I want to show you is in, in BricsCAD, I have a, a, a nice tool here that they use called Blockify. Right? So I'm just going to use the Blockify tool. And what I can do with that is I can just pick a single set of lines and arcs. Right? And then they hit enter and it says ask me select an insertion point just like it does for a regular block and it asks me do you want to search either an area or the entire drawing i'm going to search this whole drawing right for all of the entities that match what we have there and you see just like that it's done it asked me and i'll call it the same thing right i will call it my uh chair ex okay give it a name Ooh, i mistyped so it didn't wind up giving me the right name but in any event, it doesn't matter because what I want you to see here is that notice that each one of these has been converted to a block. Now, if I go in and use my select similar and I go to my property, you see just like that, 254 
of these have been created. Every single one of those chairs that were aligned before and have blocks. Think about doing that, like I said, in a schematic or a one line, right? Where you have to count all of those, right? It's an absolutely amazing setup, right? And same exact thing, right? What's also really nice about this, if I wanted to join these into a point where, um, and I'll go back to the same area, where I also, you know, instead of just having the chairs, I wanted to have the chair and the block, or actually the desk together as a block instead of individual items. So I can, how many desks do I have? Same thing, I'd have to take this rectangle, right? And this block, and I'd have to join them together, and then I'd have to erase all the other ones and relay it out in AutoCAD. Definitely taking me a good bit of time. Here, I can just repeat that blockify command, right? And I can just take the chair and the rectangle. I, and even though there are things are going to be in different rotations, watch when I go in here, I'm just going to kind of use the defaults here right, and let it search the entire drawing again. It's going to actually find all instances where there's a chair up against the desk and it's going to assemble them into individual blocks. Okay, it's taking a second here while it searches through that whole drawing. Right, and then when I'm done it again, I can type in a, a new name for it. I'm just going to hit enter to select the default name. But notice now that's a block, right? When I go and I move this, you see that the, the whole chair and desk assembly is a block, so is this one, right? So if I move this one, right? Come on, move, here we go. Move this one, it's all a block. And if I wanna know how many desks, cause it did that across the entire drawing. So if I wanna know how many of those desks I have, again, I'm just gonna do that select similar, go to my properties, right? And I can tell exactly how many of those I have, see? The 254 components, right? Wherever there was a chair, it made a desk. So it was easy for me to put those together in just a few seconds. Um, quite honestly, this one is a big win for BricsCAD. Uh, AutoCAD has absolutely nothing like that Blockify tool. So huge benefit, right? So winner today, BricsCAD. We're out, folks, and we'll catch you next time on the CAD Cave.